Do you also forget about your first ever pickaxe? So do I, and that's why I'm going to build a huge shrine for it. So before we head out and actually start building our shrine, the thing is what we're going to need to do is actually get prepared for the ender dragon. Which means we're going to need some ender pearls and also some... I forget what the name is to be honest, but the thing that the phantoms mm -hmm. drop, that's what we need. And right now what I'm going to do is actually get a bit more prepared for the ender dragon. So I'm going to also probably like unenchant these and get some more enchants going so i'm gonna go head downstairs and hit some mobs and get some levels and then we're gonna do some more enchanting up at our ship over here do you know what guys i think today we are gonna do a bit of exploring in the end as well because i do want an elytra i am fed up of climbing up this ladder and i also do want to completely get rid of it because i think it doesn't look very nice next to this build but yes anyway let's get some enchanting going so we're gonna start off with the boots actually so we're gonna take those off get rid of the enchant and what do we get we get, I'm breaking free. All right, that's not too bad, but what about for a bow? I'm breaking free as well. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna go for the bow. Let's see what we get. I'm breaking free <laughs> and punch two. That is a terrible bow. And for the boots, I'm breaking free as well. Protection free, depth shider free. Oh, that's actually kind of good boots. I'm gonna keep these because I do want protection on all of my gear. All right, so right now we can get Unbreaking Free with the Leggings. So we've only got enough for one enchant right now. So let's test it out and please give us protection. Protection Free. All right, that's good. That is decent. I'm happy with that. So now we have Protection Free on the boots, on the leggings, and on the chest plate. That is actually very, very good. I think up next we'd get... Oh, Protection Free for the helmet. All right, do you know what? I think I'll go and get some XP later on and get Protection Free on the helmet. And for the bow, we would get Power Free. Uh, that's not too bad, I guess. That is not too bad at all. So right now what I'm going to do is actually go underground and use my fortune free on some copper because I have actually never built with copper. So I'm going to grab a bunch of copper ore. Hopefully we'll have enough for our build. I'm going to need quite a lot. So I'm going to use my fortune free and hopefully get enough ore to make a bunch of blocks. Because I really think that it will look really cool using copper because in the future it will turn green. Oh my goodness. That was closer. <laughs> Alright, this should not take a lot of time at all. I've mined two veins of copper and I've already got two and a half stacks of copper ore. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm very happy that we got our fortune free pickaxe. And also, I don't know why I didn't come in this cave to get loads of coal. Because there is coal everywhere. Look at this. There's some like there, 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 up there, all the way up there, up there. There's some everywhere. <gasps> oh my goodness. Why is everyone scaring me like that? Where did you even come from? Oh, you must have... Oh, there's a friend up there. Oh, oh, go away. I'm wondering if there's a better biome to be able to find copper. I, I just have no idea at all. I'm just mining in a random biome right now. Well, right next to our house. But I wonder if there is a special biome just for copper. So if you guys do know, please leave it in the comment section below because that would really help me out. And also, guys, if you would really like to talk to me where I can actually respond and have a conversation with you guys, I really recommend you guys join the Discord. The link will be in the description below, so feel free to join. Well, that was quick. I already filled up my inventory of copper. I've only been mining for, what, probably 10 minutes max? <laughs> that is insane. This is actually going to be quite good because that means I don't have to do too much mining for us to continue our build, or to start our build, as I should say. But now I need to find my way home because I have no idea where I am. Ah, I think it's over that way. I do also actually need to go to the nether because I'm going to need a bunch of ender pearls. So I'm going to hunt for some ender pearls right now. And also I need some glowstone dust because the glowstone for these builds, I've actually mined with my silk touch. So I have no glowstone dust whatsoever. All right, I don't think it's going to be uh, too long for us to get some ender pearls in this place. Okay, this is very loud. And that is nine ender pearls already. <laughs> That's almost enough as it is. I wouldn't mind getting around about 15 and that should be it pretty much. All right, I need to find a few more endermen that I can just look at so they can get pretty angry at me. And that was pretty quick. We've already got 16 and 3 and 20 glowstone dust. Now all we have to do is pretty much head back home. We can get our potions ready and then we can already start heading to the end. Oh no, I just remembered. I need to go kill a lot of blazes. I came to this different fortress because I'm hoping that there is some blaze spawners that are like inside some rocks and there is a wither over there oh wow that is insane guys look at that we already got a wither skull that is insane oh there's so many blazes well actually I think we already have enough blaze rods which is actually insane I'm still going to check around and see how we actually get to the other part over there unless that is another fortress if that's the case that would be insane oh there's a chest right there like my mother always told me, never leave a chest behind. I was going to say, are those two kissing over there? Oh, they are. That's so cute. Diamond! And a diamond. Perfect. <laughs> two more diamonds. Oh my goodness. This is actually insane. Our luck with loot this time is like insane. I'm so happy. Oh, and some wither skeletons have spawned. 
three more diamonds. I found six diamonds just for being in this stronghold. I'm so lucky. All right, we're going to head home now and just get absolutely completely ready for the ender dragon fight. I guess whilst we wait, we can go and enchant this bow again because it just has unbreaking and punch. And I don't really want punch on my bow. I really just want power four. To be honest, that would be the best thing possible, especially for the ender fight. We have got unbreaking three again, but let's give it a try. Are you serious? Punch two again. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> oh, that is not what I wanted. What am I going to get next? Power four. Okay, that is perfect. That's what we want next. So hopefully if I can kill some of these phantoms, we might be able to get enough levels to actually enchant our bow. That's if they spawn, of course. Wow, I'm actually quite surprised at how much XP copper gives you. And actually, let's smelt up our ancient debris as well, just so we can get some netherite armor going. Because I think that would be very, very cool. Oh, well, it looks like it's getting daytime again. So I'm guessing some phantoms are going to spawn the next night. So whilst I wait for the phantoms to spawn, I'm probably just going to head into another cave and get a bunch more copper ore. But before we do that, we can actually make one piece of netherite, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we can. Perfect. And I think the first thing we're actually going to make is a netherite helmet. Because it does give a bit extra armor, I think. Actually, no, it don't. Not at all. Ah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do our diamond sword into netherite because then it makes it a little bit stronger. And boom. Our first piece of a netherite, well, our first tool that is actually made out of netherite, which is so cool. All right, so unfortunately, I did forget to record. Why is all of these guys over here, like, separated? Is there, like, uh, different types of groups here? What's happening? <laughs> but yes, since the last clip, I did actually manage to get five phantom membranes. It did take a while for them to spawn, but I did also manage to do this. But that was on the end of the last episode, actually. After I finished the episode, I got a few of the villagers and got started on trading. And uh, I did get some decent ones. I did get this guy with power five. And yes, I did already convert him. Well, I just done that right now. Uh, I did get an unbreaking free one for one book, which is really good. And also I got a uh, guy for the sticks and another one for the sticks here. Also, I did get a mending book. I did actually convert this guy. But for some reason, it's still 24 diamonds. I think because I did use my sweeping edge earlier to kill the zombie, it kind of hit him. So I think that's why they're mad. And for this guy, yeah, his price has gone up from 45 to 64. So that is not really good, which is actually quite a shame because I really did need a Feather Falling 4 book. But for right now, I am actually going to get a Mending book. And I don't have the emeralds on me right now. Let me grab some. There we go. All right, there we go. We're going to get one Mending book and another one. I think that is pretty good. I do want to pot this on my Fortune 3 pickaxe because I am going to be getting a bunch of copper which is going to use up a lot of health of my pickaxe and actually whilst we're at it we should probably grab ourselves an unbreaking book I actually let's grab a few i grab two unbreaking books i got two mending ones and one power five as well which i got from this guy earlier on and actually if you guys are wondering what it looks like from underneath this is pretty much it I, these are the little designs that i said the writing of the aliens <laughs> i need to watch out though because there is a lot of mobs down here because it's so dark. All right, so right now we're just going to get ready to be able to go and fight the Ender Dragon. But before we do that, we do need to combine some of these books. So I have got a Unbreaking Free bow. That's unfortunately all I got from that bow. But we do have a Power 5 book. So we're going to combine that for five levels, which is perfect. There we go. So now we have a very powerful bow to be able to defeat the Ender Dragon. Also, I just realized I do not have Unbreaking on this sword. So we're going to do that as well quickly. Unbreaking. Cost 3. There we go. Do you know what? We're going to do that. Boom. Free, and we're not going to stop with that sword. We're also going to add mending onto it. And boom, there we go. So we have mending and unbreaking free, sweeping edge and looting and sharpness four. Yeah, I messed myself up there by reading it completely wrong, but yeah. And also, like I did mention, we're going to get looting, not looting, sorry. We're going to get another mending book onto this pickaxe right here. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we can actually go down to our mob farm and get all our stuff repaired because I'm going to need this repaired because I'm going to have to go and get a bunch of copper ore. And before we actually go and try to defeat the Ender Dragon, we're going to do the comment of the day. So the comment of the day goes to Big Kevin 812 And he says, maybe you can try to get some mending on your tools soon. <laughs> and uh, guess what? <laughs> we actually done it on what do we get on oh yeah the pickaxe <laughs> i've already forgotten but yes we got mending on our tool and also they said love the ufo can't wait for episode five and uh yes i couldn't wait for episode five because i had to jump straight into it but yes thank you so much big kevin for the comment of the day and as always guys if you want to be featured on the comment of the wall day I keep forgetting what to call this thing. But yes, if you want to be featured on this wall, please leave a nice comment in the comment section below. And uh, maybe I might choose you. All right, let's head out and defeat 
the Ender Dragon. So it began the long and really um, long journey to the end, crossing mountains, rivers. I have finally arrived. Okay, looks like it's underneath this mountain. If the Eye of Ender will pop back out. Oh, there it is. Okay, so yeah, it must be right underneath here. And if you're wondering, by the way, guys, it did not take me long at all. This is the first night time and it just turned night because we're only about a thousand blocks away. Hmm. I think I must have missed it. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's try throwing of Eye of Ender. I've gone up a few blocks. Did that go up? I wasn't sure. And also, I don't have any torches right now, which is a bad thing. That is the one thing I did forget. Oh, finally, I have found it. Oh, that took me forever. Yay, I spy. Nice. All right, we're going to have to try to find this stronghold now. Or not the stronghold, the actual portal, I mean. Oh, and there's a chest straight away. Hmm, interesting. I do not need that right now. Thing is, I do hate these strongholds because they are like mazes. Like, everything really looks the same, so you always get lost. Ah, I can hear the silver fish. We have made it. Let me get rid of the spawn quickly. There we go. Perfect. Ouch. Leave me alone. There we go. Perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> Luckily, we got loads of ender pills because there is not a lot right here. All right, but before we go into the actual portal, I do want to find the library because I want to see if there's any cool loot in there. Oh, there you go. Finally found one. Let's see if there's any good loot. Aqua Affinity. Unfortunately, I think I already got that. Yep, I've already got that. That is a bit of a bummer. And in this chest, we have Power 4, Sharpness 4, Efficiency 4, and Flame. Oh, my God. Goodness, that is insane. That is such a good book. Let's get rid of the dirt. <laughs> wow. I've never seen such a good book in my life in one of these strongholds. All right. Let's see if we can get prepared for the fight. So I think I need more than this, don't I? Dum, 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 dum. There we go. All right. Two more. I do really like that sound. It's very satisfying. And two more. And boom. There we go. I've never actually really looked what th these are. But it looks like little bugs that are like floating around. <laughs> It's funny, when you zoom in with the Optifine, it just looks like there's way more. All right, cue the epic music. Oh, and we have a good spawn. I do like this one, so we can actually swap to our bow straight away. Okay, the towers are quite low. That is awesome. That is really good for us. Makes it a lot easier. Start shooting out these towers. Come on, get the tower. There we go. Where's the other one? There's one up there. Come on, get it. Ow! I cannot get that last one. Did I get it? I'm not sure if I got that or the actual dragon itself. I cannot see. Alright, we're going to break this one right here and we're going to see if we did actually get it. Probably eat my, drink my slow falling as well. Alright, I think we might have got them all. Yeah, I think we got all of the towers now and all we have to do is defeat the ender dragon. So come on. Oh, it's so fast. Come on, ender dragon. I can't hit it. Alright, uh, actually, let's just get that achievement quickly. Oh, I'm so silly. I keep forgetting to take my strength potions as well. There we go. We've got strength potions now. Now we're going to be doing a lot of damage. That's if we can hit the Ender Dragon, of course. <laughs> oh, that done a lot of damage. Alright, we've done a lot of damage right there. Oh, we're doing so much damage. This is really good. Come on. Let's finish you right now. And one more hit. Yes. Yay, we finished. We've killed the Ender Dragon. And now we have loads of XP. Ah, oh, that is awesome. I am so happy we defeated the Ender Dragon. There's a few Ender Pearls on the floor as well. <laughs> nice. The egg is right here, but I don't have a lot of space. I'm not going to take it right now. But what we are going to do is head straight over to there and try to find an elytra. And phew. There we go. I am drinking a slow falling potion right now because just in case we fall off the edge, then I can actually get an ender pearl really quickly and it maybe save myself. Because I really don't want to fall right now. Because if I do, that is a lot of stuff that we're going to lose. Because right now, guys, I am holding shift like really hard <laughs> just so I don't fall off. And guys, by the way, I've noticed in the comments of the latest videos, I am getting loads of suggestions of what to build and in like what biome as well. So if you guys want me to build something in specific, I would recommend leaving it in the comments and maybe I might actually build it. I spy with my little eye something beginning with E. Enderman. Oh, I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. Ah, go away, Mr. Enderman. Well, I wanted to say it's N Fortress. Yes, we finally found one. Well, I say finally. I haven't been looking for very long, to be honest. Uh, this is oh, actually, I did not even see that one over there. So there's two right next to each other. That is awesome. Unfortunately, though, I don't think that one has an end ship. But that's okay because that one does over there. That is awesome. All right, let's go collect the um, loot inside, 
and then we'll head back home. Luckily, we do have the looting on here, so we can actually get a bunch of shulker boxes, hopefully. Uh, it's not looking like it. There we go. We made it to the chest. What's in the chest? Wow. Not what I was expecting. A diamond pickaxe, I guess. These are rubbish chests. <laughs> oh, I wish there were better ones. Right, let's fly by these guys. There we go. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done this. All right, so where's the ship? Is it on this side? Nope. Ah, it's on this side. I guess we'll go over to here and then we'll, we'll just uh, pillow all the way to the ship. Oh, actually, I don't think we can. Oh, I'll have to make some slabs. I think that's the best bet or the safest one anyway. And what did we get? A diamond helmet and some boots. Oh, a lot of diamonds. Actually, seven diamonds. That is really good. I'm actually going to grab all of this gold as well. Perfect. And what we actually came for. The elytra. Yes. And now look at us. We have an elytra. All right. Before we actually head off into the distance and go and start building, what we're going to do is do some enchanting. And what I want to enchant is some books. And that is a perfect start right there. And I just realized I just unenchanted my infinity book. Oh, I'm so silly. Oh, that is annoying. And actually, I have run out of Lapis Lazuli. So what we're going to do is actually just go ahead and go building straight away. I am actually going to head up there first of all and get a mending book to put onto my shovel and also one onto my elytra. For us to actually start building, we need to find where we want to build. So we're going to fly around, but I am liking over here. So I'm going to start by chopping up all of these trees here because I need to get rid of all of the trees that are all around here. And uh, then we might start terraforming as well. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I have also repaired all my tools by getting down to the mob farm and got mending on most of these as well now. Alright, so I've gone ahead and done some planning and uh, I'm pretty pleased with the size. It's not too huge, but um, from the last episode, I don't have a lot of time as that one took me a long time. That's why the video came out a little bit later. And I am also going to have to do a bit of terraforming on the edge over here and I think over here a little bit. Yep, just over here we need to do a little bit more terraforming as well. So I'm just going to build all of these walls up and hopefully it won't take too long. But I'm not going to show you guys because it's literally just building this up out of stone. And then we'll do some detail work right after that. All right. So I have actually finished kind of one side or well, kind of I've half done it because I ran out of blocks. So I'm going to have to go back home and get a bunch of blocks. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much going to be the height. And then on top of that, we're going to have like a dome or I'm not sure actually if I'm going to do like a dome or like an oval. I'm not sure like an egg shaped. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. But yes, for now, I'm just going to fill in this side here and, well, I'm going to do that off camera. And I'm also going to do all the other sides as well. Uh, I might actually have to go mining afterwards. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough stone. But yes, uh, uh, hopefully we do. But yeah, I'm going to head back home and get some more food, get some more rockets. Uh, actually, I don't think we have any paper. But yes, I'm just going to fill all this up and I'll be back with you guys after that. All right, I have finally completed the actual framework. And I did start on building like a thing... Like a little statue, I don't know what you call it, like a little platform really for what we're going to put on top. And the only way to actually see it is by coming up here and yeah, I've brought the um, sphere up to the top and now we're going to have to figure out what we want to do here. Yes, yeah, so I did also make myself a landing platform so I can land safely without falling off the edge. So yes, this did take me a long time to build and also a lot of resources. So now I'm going to have to go mining again to get a bit more stone. I don't need that much really because when I start decorating, I can remove some of the stone that's placed here. But yeah, I wouldn't, I shouldn't need too much. And for the floor on the inside, I think I might go with quartz. I'll probably have to head back to the nether and get a bunch of quartz there. But I'll do that all off camera or I'll show you a little glimpse of it if you want. But apart from that, yeah, I'm just going to do that all off camera because it's just a bunch of grinding. And then afterwards, we're going to have to come back and do a bunch of decorating, add in a bunch more details on the side to make it look a lot nicer. And if you guys are wondering, because I noticed I got a comment of how long does it take for me to, to build these or how long do I play? 
it takes me like over several days to build this like just this has taken me two days to build and that's without actually collecting stone because this is all the stone that I had in my base I have none left now but I'm gonna have to go farming for <laughs> for the next few days and then come back to build again all right, so I've gone and decorated one corner here and I have used a lot of copper, as you can tell. And hopefully with time, this will turn green because I think it will look a lot nicer because right now it is like really in your face. But yes, pretty much what I'm going to do is exactly the same on this side. Uh, I've done that off camera because it took me a few hours to do because I didn't know what design I was going for. But yes, this one I'm going to do it all in replay mode so you guys can see all of that. And most probably start decorating the front here as well. And for the top part, that's going to be a lot easier. It's a lot less detail work, but I think it should turn out pretty nice. So this is where we're at with the build. I have completed this one face pretty much. All I need to do now is complete all the other sides and also add a dome on top. Uh, if you're wondering what these are going to be, these are going to be like some flames. So I'm going to have to get a bit of Neverack with, but I think I have plenty at home and then just set that on fire and I think that will look really cool. And I just realized I forgot to do this part right here <laughs> because I have done it on this side, but not on this side. And also I am going to have to do quite a decent amount of terraforming, but apart from that, it should be quite quick. And I do think that we need to add a bit more copper. So I'm going to add some here. I think I've got, that's where I'm going to put a ceiling right there that connects. That's why I've only done this halfway up. And yeah, like I said, on top will be a big dome. And then we can just go inside and place loads of quartz on the floor. So right now, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to AFK. Well, not AFK, sorry. I'm going to do this all off camera because uh, some of you guys have already seen what I just done on this side in replay mod. But now, yeah, I'm going to do all the other sides. And that's going to take me a very long time. I am looking forward to it. So I have actually managed to finish the build and if you guys cannot tell I am ill now because this has taken me so long to build that it's gone through multiple days and I've got sick. But yes this is the final build I am sorry about the voice guys but yeah I've managed to put a dome on top I've added some flames and another roof and as you can tell it's already starting to turn green which is really really good. And also, I did start on terraforming here. Uh, this is where the cliff is going to go out to. But unfortunately, I have run out of blocks and also run out of time. But anyway, before we do actually end the episode, we are going to head down and do the comment of the day. Bet you didn't see that one coming, huh? All right, so today's comment of the day goes to Cole Holyfield or Holyfield. I don't, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, but yeah, the comment goes to you. And the comment says, it's an absolute crime that these videos don't get millions of views. Keep up the good work, man. You're going to be huge. Well, thank you so much, Cole, for the nice comment. And anyway, I think that is going to be the end of the episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you did, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.